Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel guys. Um, as you can see, I am here with baby Aspen. Um, and <laughs> I did play in his hair a little bit. I don't know, you guys probably can't see it from here, but I took some pictures so I'll post them on Instagram. Um, I played in his hair last night, but it's still like that. And his hair is just so... It has such a natural sheen. Like I'm not putting anything but water on it. And it's just the curls are soft and fluffy but very defined. Oh, I like it. But anyway, <laughs> I um actually, it's so funny because as I was getting ready to do this video, I looked at him and I noticed he have a little scratch. And I forgot I put that scratch there. So it's so crazy that. Um, and it's like a little tiny scratch where like, you know how they get fussy and they scratch their face. Um, there's just little things that, um, I'm actually seeing on him that I forgot that I did, um, on him like capillaries and all that great jazz. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's like I got a new baby for real in here. <laughs> so, um. I, of course, dress him up for you guys so you guys can see what he looks like with, you know, regular clothes on and stuff like that. But I prefer the babies in very baby-like clothes, of course. So I'm going to put him in just a onesie in a bit. Um, I noticed that I'm having a time, like, capturing his subtle look sometime. But he has this little, where he's just like, I don't know, he's just a sweetie pie. I love, I love that he has like full, a full bottom lip, full lips, um, where, you know, give you something to, uh, paint. Um, there was another baby that I painted that had that, um, the lips like this, um. Even, you know, like Jolie, um, by Joanna Kazmarek, um, the full lips. I love painting the full lips. Um, Alex and Ashby has fuller lips, which is nice, um, because a lot of times the sculpts just don't have, barely have a mouth at all. <laughs> um, it's like a little line and it's just, don't give you much to work with when you're painting. Um. But, you know, every baby, every baby, every style expression is different. So that's usually whichever way the sculptor chooses is based off of this, you know, the, the baby that they were looking at as an inspiration to sculpt. So it's pretty cool just to have varieties. But I'm just saying I love when they have full lips. But anyway, um, oh, did I tell you guys? So, um, I did say this was Aspen. As this is Aspen by Claire Teller. He is the prototype painted by me and sculpted by Claire Teller. He's 19 inches long. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you click the subscribe button and be a part of the Lola, the Lola's that peeps into the window of my world. So, yeah. So anyway, let's get them, get him dressed. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about um, just some other topics, um, different, you know, questions that's asked in the comment section. Um, and so, yeah. So, um, one of the things was, like, let's talk about trades. Um, <laughs> not the trades, like... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, some of y'all will get that and some of y'all won't. But trades. Um, trading, you know, a lot of times you'll put up a baby for sale and people will be like, are you willing to trade such and such kit for this kit or this doll for that doll? And, you know, I really frown on trading. And I'll tell you why. And I have done it. I've done it at least twice. Three times, three times, two with two times with kits, and you know that's how I got my phoenix. Is that yeah? That's how I got my phoenix. Was it phoenix? No, Maggie. That's how I got my Maggie. 
I got my Maggie by trading a limb skull. And so, and that was perfect because I would have never got my Maggie. And the other trade that I did was I traded um, Susu for a, a Lulu for a Susu. And that trade was fine, but I didn't um, know that the eyes was cut in the back. And um, so I didn't, I don't usually do it, do my eyes that way. It's just a personal preference. And so anyway, I, then I end up getting something on the kit. Um, like I left it in the box. And then the whatever, you know, like the print or whatever from the box got on the doll ear and it just ruined the kit. And I ended up just like giving the kit away for shipping costs or something like that. Um, so, yeah, so that 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 was the other trade that I did. The other trade that I did was... Um, I traded a prototype baby for a baby that I had in my collection before to get it back. And I um I did and I got it back and it was it was fine. The baby was in the same condition as when I sold it to the lady and um and this was before I was painting. And I kept her for a while and ended up, you know, selling her again. But you know, um, that's a whole nother subject in itself. That's why I don't typically buy babies back that I've already sold. Um, I don't usually go back. Um, but trading, sometimes people trade when they can't sell. When, when they just, they just can't, you know, get the baby sold. Look at him. Look at him. Look, look, look. <laughs> when they can't get the, um, when they can't get the baby sold, a lot of times they'll be like, okay, let me just trade it because nobody's going to pay for it type thing. So that's one way, one reason to trade. The other, um, the other reason sometimes people trade is you got to, which, what you got to be careful about is the scammers. The people will offer you a trade and never send out the doll or send you something different or you know, I find sometimes even amongst friends, I don't like to do it. And I'll tell you the reason why, because I always feel like somebody feel like they got shorted or they got the shorthand of the stick. And I really hate that. And I don't want it to be me. And I def I don't want it to be them either because, you know, you be like, oh, I should have just kept my baby because this baby ain't wasn't worth it type thing. Um... Or I don't like this one, you know, my doll was more high end than this doll. So, you know, when you go into a trade or swap, you got to go into it with the mindset of, you know, know what you're getting. You know, detailed pictures, videos if possible. Or just, you know, you're doing it because you know, for whatever sentimental reasons. It's something that you just got to have and this is the only way you can get it or something you just want, you know, because that's another reason also why, you know, I've had in the past um, people ask about, you know, I paint a baby for you, you paint a baby for me. I don't usually do those because you know, what if they feel like my work is not as nice as their work? You know, I'm going to feel bad. They're going to be upset. And, you know, I just don't want that. You got to, when you do stuff like that, it's got to be something, you know, someone that you, you, you trust, you know, something, you know, I don't know. You just got to have a different mindset. And I just feel like on a regular basis, my, my short answer is always no no to trades um but you know there's always those special circumstances where it's so worth it and i've done i've done you know what i mean trades where it's been so worth it if that makes sense um yeah 
So it's, you know, buying these, these babies and they're so expensive and a lot of people are just trying to figure out how to get their hands on, you know, babies that, you know, sometimes people do trades plus cash. I'll send you my, you know, I'll send you my Aspen plus, you know, $500 or, you know, I'll send you my, um, my fin plus, you know, blah, 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 you know, um, Sometimes, you know, that's the only way people see a way to get the things that they want because they don't have all the cash on hand. And so, you know, I understand it, but, you know, especially, you know, some people don't even know the people and they offer them a trade. I'll just make sure this is turned correctly so it don't be bulging. Yeah. Um... Sometimes people offer them them a trade and you don't even know these people from nowhere. You've never seen them in the community active on, you know, posts or in stuff like that. And then you find yourself in a bad situation. Um, I just, me personally, I just wouldn't do it. Um... So yeah, so usually my answer is no to trades, but it's not that I haven't done it or won't do it, you know. I'm just saying like somebody like Angela Plicka messaged me and be like, let me trade you your work for mine. I'm gonna be like, girl, you finna be mad, but <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. You know, my work is, is decent enough, but I'm just saying <laughs> you um yeah you, it's like yeah you gonna kind of go for it but I don't know but you know we like I said we do all types of things and <laughs> trying to get these babies these babies are so expensive and they're they're not getting any cheaper but I, I do believe that the cost of silicone is going to go down though I do believe that um the babies because everybody's painting and they're flooding the market so um the value of the dolls will go down because it's going to kind of be like i can get one from so and so especially the artist that puts out babies every five minutes which um it's not gonna be oh my god i love him in his colors <laughs> he just looks so newborn like he literally makes my um my little my heart just like flutter like I just can't believe that he looks so newborn I wish you guys could like see him see him in person because like I don't know like his tongue looks so real and that's the painting may I add I'm sorry I'm tooting my own horn for the minute but you know how I talked about people with their fetish with the tongues and stuff on tea time Tuesday and stuff I ain't gonna lie, sometimes when I get a kid that have a detailed mouth, I be like going crazy trying to make it look super realistic to the real thing. And he just looked like, I mean, it just looks so real inside his mouth. I wish you guys could see. But, I don't know if you guys could see. Let me see. But he's just, he's just so newborn. Like, he, he fit his clothes like a newborn. It's just, I don't know, like he. Uh, you guys can't even see. No, no, no. I don't know. I'll try to get a picture one day. One day I'll get I'll get the right shot that'll show exactly the color coloring inside his mouth and everything. But there just was a lot of things. I know I keep talking about this baby. I'm so in love with him. Well, for one, you gotta know my history to understand why um it's so excited about Aspen. I typically paint lighter skin tones and I typically don't feel confident when I paint the darker skin tones although I think I do pretty good at it but the amount of detail that I was able to get into him I was really excited about it and then there's a lot of little things that I kind of I know this sounds crazy it really was a risk to do it with a prototype but I did um there's a lot of things that i um actually 
like experiment it with a little bit like the texture i i always do a texture but i've not done it like this so to speak exactly like this so i was able to get a very skin like look on his legs and i i'm gonna try it again um Ashby has, um, let me look at Ashby. Okay, guys, Ashby don't have a head, though. Well, let me look at her really quick, because I can't even remember. Tip, 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 tip. Let me see, let me see. So Ashby, um, texture is different, but she, her texture really fits her her skin tone and it does look skin like but it's it's a more I don't know it's like a little bit smoother if I could say that um but you can see it's very similar so yeah but his is just I don't know maybe maybe it's because of the way that he's painted that actually makes it look different on him because I think Sasha has very similar texture to her but they're painted two different ways so I I don't know I just have a way of every baby have their own paint style so I guess that's why I kind of look different but anyway <sighs> I know. I know y'all can't stand me. I know y'all can't. Like, girl, put the baby up for sale. <laughs> I know. Some of y'all probably don't care, but I know. I'm just, I'm... Ugh. I don't know. It's just such a a huge deal for me. To you, you know, you get that call. It's like, would you like to do a prototype for me? Like, you? <laughs> Claire Taylor you know what I mean like I don't know it's kind of you know it's pretty special um I've had some some I've done some special prototypes I haven't did many but the, the, the ones that I did was pretty special it's pretty nice so I don't know y'all know me I always be like um nobody's calling me again but I live in the moment of the ones that I did get right. Poop, poop. Yeah. I love him. All right. So we'll talk about some other things in the next video. See you guys later.